It's nearly that time of year again. Yes, on the 8th of February, it is gonna be Internet Safety Day. Now, anyone who has been on any of my training will know how important internet safety, digital literacy is for me. If I was EdSec, it would be at the forefront of my curriculum. And I have so much respect for the companies behind Internet Safety Day, like the UK Safer Internet Centre. But there are a few things about Internet Safety Day that really, really wind me up. First of all, if you're working at a school where that is the only day in which you do any work around internet safety, then I'm sorry, that is just simply not good enough. That's like saying that on World Book Day, it's the only day throughout the year where you actually read a book to your children. Instead, Internet Safety Day, just like World Book Day, should be a celebration of all the other work you've done throughout the year around internet safety. A few years ago, I made a video about Internet Safety Day and I was calling out some of the activities I usually see. And I can't believe that that is still happening now in 2022. You know what I'm talking about here. Standing there with a piece of paper, I want to raise awareness of how dangerous the internet is. Honestly, if you think that's the thing children need to learn about now, how a picture or video can go viral, we are so behind. And I don't want this to look like I'm having a go at any teacher because I'm not, it's not your fault. Unfortunately, our system forces us to worry about things that in my opinion, aren't as important as the digital literacy side of things, whether children know the difference between the active or passive voice. And I'm not saying it should be one or the other, but I think we need to be doing so much more around teaching children how to be safe, how to be responsible and positive online. So this year, can Internet Safety Day be a way in which we really start to prioritise the teaching of online safety throughout the whole year? And there are so many resources out there it doesn't need to be that you take an hour out the afternoon on Internet Safety Day to tell the children all the bad things about the internet, how it's a naughty, naughty thing and you should never ever use it. Now you should never ever speak to anyone online and then we'll make a poster. Even though some of you will be with partners that you actually met online. Let's understand that the internet is not a bad place. It's not a bad thing. It's just all about choices. In 2022, we don't have a choice about using the internet. The choice we make is how well we do it. And as educators, we need to be modeling good practice all the time. So please go and check out some of the amazing resources out there. There's loads on my website. If you check out the Education for Connected World document, projectevolve.co.uk, Nata Hub, like I say, UK Safer Internet Centre has fantastic resources as well. And if you know of a resource that you think other teachers might find useful, please share it in the comments below. And let's ensure that our pupils are becoming masters of this technology and not slaves to it.